Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC, late in the evening. But uh, we got a box from White Mountain Knives, and I just can't go to sleep until I lay my dirty, grubby little sausage fingers all over what's inside this package. Yes, White Mountain Knives, indicating that I did, in fact, pay for this with my own money. We got a buster open. Find out what it is together right now. <laughs> right oh baby package from white mountain eyes we bought this on a live stream on thursday last thursday it's monday today monday at about 10 o'clock at night and this is a sharp by design mini tempest and i love it um, is this the full size tempest or the mini tempest if this is the mini tempest i think this is just the tempest Future me? I, it's pretty big. I think this is the Tempest. The, anyway, Brian Nadeau, a legend. Might be a little hint for you, even though you've already seen the, uh, you've already seen the thumbnail. You already know. Bruh. You already know. Oh, peanuts? Dude, it's been a while since I got something from White Mountain Hives. Peanuts? <laughs> peanuts! <laughs> oh, I threw the whole knife in the, in the garbage. Oops. Boom. Yeah, sharp by design. The latest, the greatest. The latest, the greatest. Nothing left in that box. Care's asleep. Uh, tried to make that as quiet as possible. I don't know that it worked. I don't think it worked. Oh, it's in a little sack. It's in a little protective sackaroo. Oh, yeah. Sharp by design. Simple, no nonsense packaging. Black cardboard. Magnetic clasp. Brian? Brian? No. Wait, yes? Brian? Dad? How do I open you? Oh, it's a little drawer. It's a little drawer. Oh, okay. So, yes, let's, yes, please, yes. Show it to me. Show it to me. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, it's big, dude. Oh. Oh, daddy's excite. That is a great excite. Very nice box. Simple, clean. Yes, this is the Derecho. Future me, am I saying that right? Derecho? 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 Si, senor. Uh, by Brian Nadeau, Sharp by Design. And it is oh, spicy. Not something I would normally go for visually. Well, visually closed, that is stunning. That is a beautiful thing. I'm, I'm pumped that he did the fluted, the little fluted version with the, the holes cut through. Interesting uh, construction. One body screw one pivot screw and then a, a clip screw on the inside but it's held together in the middle instead of back here traditionally pocket knives are held together way back here with like a backspacer but this one is clamshell so there's no backspacer they just sit they just screw together with one single screw and they meet in the middle it it is so the tolerances are so tight can you see the seam i'm sta i'm staring right at it and i can barely see the seam the black hides it very, very well. So that's an impressive little, uh, little, little tidbit there. Very nice flipper tab and this big voluptuous fuller running. We got that Brian Nadeau pivot, the six shooter pivot that I love so much. Titanium frame lock, full titanium build. That classic sharp by design titanium clip, hidden hardware. I love it. Size comparison. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hold on. Sorry, please. Uh, please forgive me. Anyway, size comparison. Size comparison. Spider Cup Air 3. Yeah, bigger. By about, a, what, half an inch or so bigger than the pair of three Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall. Yeah, dude. Good size. Got some good length to it. Uh, how is it compared to the Tempest? A little bit bigger, man. So, again, is this the Mini Tempest? Bro, I have no idea. Anyway, bigger than that knife. If you ever seen one of those, you're welcome. There you go. So, a decent sized knife, but not heavy. Tons of milling to keep the weight down. It's not like overwhelmingly big. It's not a Rayot T6000, you know what I mean? But let's pop her open. Ooh, okay, hold on. There it is. Look at this blade. It's a Hawkbill. It's a Hawkbill. 2024 is the year of the Hawkbill, I guess. The EDCable Hawkbill. That profile is so sensual to me, I just can't put my finger on it. That is such an... Oh. Oh. It is such a sexual thing for me. I I have problems. I have a therapist. Leave me alone. 
That is absolutely gorgeous. Hollow ground, belt satin, hawkbill, big fuller. We have this real nice jimping on the spine. We also have the slightest hint of a poon going on here. <sighs> Got that Brian Doe flipper tab. Lockup is Monty. Monty. Made by Rayot. That is just a... F God, it's so good looking. It's so good looking. I just... Christ almighty. Spider-Co pair three. It's just so aggressive. Tactile rock wall opened up. Yeah, dude. We got like an inch and a half on both those knives. That's a big knife. That's a long boy. That's a long boy. And uh, here is the Ar Arcane... Blech, Arcane Design Co. Brian Brown Volt. Like I said, 2024. Year of the EDC... Hawkbill, man, and I'm so here for it. Hawkbills are kind of a pain in the ass to sharpen, kind of a pain in the ass to maintain. Neves just did a really good video on how to, like, maintain a Hawkbill, which is great, considering a lot of people are buying this right now. Um, so definitely check... I think it's on Instagram where he posted that. Definitely check it out. This is... Uh, I'm aroused. Um, uh, I love everything about it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, that's beautiful. Ergo's in hand. Yeah, choke back. Easy four-finger grip. Thumb on that jimping. Nice. Nice and grippy jimping. Ergonomic lines are lovely. I'm locked in. I'm home sweet home. Choke up right behind that flipper tab nestle into the poon. I'm home sweet home once again. Fully nestled into the poon. That feels great. That feels excellent. Trigger pull it up on that uh, flipper tab. Easy to trigger pull. No problem. Thumb way out here. Great. All the control in the world. Can I pinch grip it? I can. 85% uh, of the day. Choil. We have a decent sized choil there, but placement's a little funky. But I'd give it 85% of the day on the pinch grip for those draw cuts. Little detail cuts going on all day. Use that. Ow! Use that very pointy, absurdly thin tip. God, I just want to sit here and look at it. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't even want to say words anymore. I just want to look at it. Relatively thick blade stock. Pretty substantial blade stock. Uh, action on this guy on bearings. It is a fresh out of the box Rayot. So, yeah, detent's nice. Um, that first flip was kind of lapsadaisical. I got to be honest with you. There's definitely some grit. Where is my KPL heavy? We'll fix that real quick. Good old, good old KPL Heavy. Link down below. Use the code TRICATE10 at knifepivotlube.com. Get you 10% off. Lubricate your life. Lubricate your world. Uh, give me that. Give me a little lube on the nub. On that Brian Dado nub, baby. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Pops right open. There's something so crispy and satisfying about a Brian Dado detent. It's getting hung up right, right here. It's getting hung up. Something's hanging it up right here. Got to work that lube in. Pops right open. Easy access to the lock bar. Uh, reverse flick. Yeah, pops right open. Very nice. Interesting. Interesting. So, like, look. It gets hung up. There it goes. But then once it gets to here, it just swings closed. Maybe I just need to lube her up. Give her a good clean. Give her a lube job. Reverse flick's nice, easy, use that fuller. Thumb flick. Thumb flick's a little tough. Oh, it, yeah, you just gotta get hand placement right. Whoop, yeah, thumb flick's fine. But reverse flick is, oh, money. Makes a damn good noise, too. Yep. Yep. Yep, I love it. I love it. We'll see, uh, blade seal, future me. What's the blade seal on this? God, that, that grind work. Action's fine, acoustics. Very tinny, and I like that. It like it's it almost tings. It almost wants to ting, but it doesn't quite. Patink. Makes good noise. I like that very much. Now then, uh, future me. I want to say M three ninety. It's what he usually uses. There's no information on the box. Could be S ninety V. Future me. I cannot remember for the life of me, and it's late, and I'm very excited. But uh, yeah, dude, Hawkbill aggressive. Look at how. So like I said, relatively thick blade stock, but look at the tip on this thing. It's microscopic, dude. Are we seeing this? Look at this. Uh, it's so point. It's like, I, if I get anywhere close to it, I'm going to start bleeding. That is wild that they've been able to grind that so thin. And because of this swedge, it almost, it just helps thin it out even more. So a very useful blade shape. Again, I'm not a, a Hawkbill guy, but uh, between this and the vault, I'm becoming a believer.
I'm still not like the crazy tactical hawk bills, still not a big fan. But for EDC use, these blades are so useful. But only if they cut. So let me grab some paper from a very fancy pen catalog. Why do I have all these catalogs, you ask? I don't know. They just keep sending them to me, and I keep cutting them up. Does it cut? Oh! <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Oh, that factory edge. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I'd say so. That is gnarly. It's people like Brian Nadeau that really push companies like Rayot to their limit when it comes to what they can pull off. Um, always has been, man. Ever since Brian started working with overseas OEMs, his designs um, really push the limit of what these Chinese OEMs could do. And I honestly kind of give him credit for a lot of the crazy shit they're able to pull off now. It's like if they can pull off a Brian Nadeau, they can pull off anything. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, it's incredible. The Derecho, I think this was about 350 bucks. Future Me 349, I think is what I paid on White Mountain Knives. It is available pretty much everywhere right now as of the filming of this video. I will leave links to everybody that's carrying it and a direct link to the knife down below. If you use those links, it does help support the channel, and I really, really appreciate it. Uh, but Brian, well done, dude. Uh, you know, I don't know what else to say, pal. Uh, I'm pumped. I will 100% be sleeping with this tonight closed don't worry i will sleep with it closed and uh <laughs> i will be carrying it all day tomorrow we will talk about this on the live stream today's monday we'll talk about it on the live stream tomorrow i'm jazzed i'm pumped uh so happy it's here it's been a while since i the last brian Ado i bought was the apex and i sold it and i regret it so much i need to get an apex back in my life but there you go the derecho links down below grab one for yourself i love it I love it. We'll see long term. I'm going to clean it out. Uh, like I said, I'm having that kind of weird sticky issue up here at the top. We'll lube her up, clean her, clean her down, lube her up, figure it out. But I, uh, I, I want to make love to it. It's a little too pointy. Be a lot of blood involved, but I want to. That's it for me. Thank you for watching. Like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member, Patreon member. Hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye bye now.